What's up guys, Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters, looking for a little inspiration. We're going to close up the, uh, the uh, World Wake set. We were already very lucky and pulled our foil jace. So, you know, I probably spent like, I don't know, maybe 400 bucks buying everything. So, we broke even. You know, obviously I could part out all the other cards, but you guys know I don't really do that. So, um, this is just uh, any, I always like those little uh, dual lands that they have in here, and obviously the uh, lands are tight. I'm not going to expect another Jace, believe me. Not even, not even non-foil. Um, I don't want to be greedy. I have lots of other boxes hiding back there that there could be even more expensive cards in, so I don't want to use up all my good luck. So here's my World Wake box. I'm actually playing a uh, sealed event in uh, Magic Online right now, which if you watch my channel update, you'll see that I am kind of pissed off at because they got rid of my four-pack sealed events. Um, so, <sighs> alas. This one I won't speed up, I don't think, because... Uh, they're older cards, but I'll still continue to do the uh, kind of the. Um, let me zoom in a little bit more. The uh, only the com uncommons and commons. Okay. So our first uncommon is Death Forge Shaman. Then we've got Razor Boomerang, Ruin Ghost, and our rare is Archeon of Redemption. The 3 4 flyer, whenever uh, Archeon or Redemption or another creature with flying enters the, or no, wow, enters the battlefield under your control, you may gain life equal to that creature's power. Well, that's a pretty nice card, actually. Um, and a token and a planes. A token. A token and a planes. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Kind of sick. Like, physically. I suppose mentally, too. And I'm. On a lot of Dayquil right now. I can try to get this done because I can. You can only lay around so much, you know. Our first uncommon is Leatherback ba Baloth or Baloth. Tuck Tuck Scraper. We've got Dread Sanctuary, and our rare is Marshall's Anthem. This is a multi kicker. When creatures you control get plus one plus one. When it enters the battlefield, return up to X target creatures from your graveyard to the battlefield, where X is the number of times it was kicked. Wow, two seemingly pretty powerful cards uh, back to back, I will say. Ugh, my hands are weakened by the easy to open Ravnica packs now. Look at this. I just pulled a second foil Jace the Mind Sculptor. Woohoo! Can you guys believe it? The third pack in. I got it. Here's one. Wait, where are you? Nin -nin 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 -nin. And here's the new one. Holy crap. Wow! This is awesome, guys. I'm going to buy something really awesome for the channel. I'm going to sell both of them and, and get like, I mean, that's 800 bucks right there. I could get, you know, a box of anything but alpha and beta. Our rare is Agadim Occultist. Uh, O2, put target creature card from your opponent's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Get a swamp. I can't believe it, you guys. I'm very lucky. Very, very very lucky. Wow. I'm so excited. I'm going to I'm going to get I really I actually saw a box of beta for sale, but it looks super sketch. It sold for like 3000 bucks, but the seller seemed really sketch and the box was open, so I just couldn't do it. <sighs> okay, get back with the program here. Core Firewalker. Amulet of Vigor. Hello, sorry guys. We got Vapor Snare, sla Slavering Nulls, Core Firewalker, Amulet of Vigor. Whenever permanent, whenever a permanent enters the battlefield, 
tapped under your control, untap it. So that would be all right to go along with the uh, dual lands, probably. All right, next pack. We've got Urge to Feed, Quest for the Goblin Lord, Razor Boomerang, Quest for Nihil Stone, Tip Card, Island, and a Foil Hada Freeblade. Wow. got a foil in here. Our first uncommon Voyager Drake. Sirigi Sajiri Mirfolk. Perimeter Captain. And a rare Calistria Highborn. Tip card. Forest. And a foil Walking Atlas. I'm setting these lands aside because I'm going to a uh, FNM event. Well, not really an FNM event. I'm going to the pre-release for Gate Crash, so I'm going to build a deck. I think I'm going to try to build a, build a nice little dark damage deck. See how that goes. First rare, Caustic Crawler, Cunning Spark Mage, Quest for Renewal, a rare, Death Shadow. One drop, It Death Shadow gets minus X, minus X, where X is your life total. But so it's out at a 13-13. So that's pretty cool if you're uh, behind in the game. That's for sure. Hopefully I get through this before my uh, next match queues up. <sighs> I'm 2-1 and one right now in it, but I like to get three wins. Uh, whoa, that's weird. Upside down card. First time I've come across that. Quest for Renewal. Tectonic Edge, and our rare is a dual land. I like these lands a lot. I really do. Plant token and a eyes land. Okay, here we go. Smother. Spell contorti Contortion. Perimeter Captain. And our rare is a Mordant Dragon. Six drop for a 5 5 flyer that's pumpable. Not too shabby. Doobie doobie doo. I got two foil jaces, which means more cards for you. <laughs> okay. Lightkeeper of Emeria. Ricochet Trap, Nemesis Trap, and a rare is a Goliath Sphinx, just a big, big beefy creature. I'm happy. Okay, what do we got coming up here? We got Lightkeeper of Remaria, Ricochet Trap. This is like the identical pack. Shoreline's Salvager. Narrera is a Wolfbriar Elemental. We have a Foil. Or no, we don't. Check that. We have a Red Land. Alrighty. About halfway done now. Uh, I know it's probably going to be long. I don't know. Do you think I should? Maybe I'll like speed it up. I don't know. No, I won't. I'm just going to go through like I normally do. Tide Force Elemental. Spell Contortion, Singbow Trap, Selective Memory is our rare. Search your library for any number of non-land cards and exile them, then shuffle your library. We have a Foil Kalani Garden, and a Plains. And a Plains, and a Plains, and a Plains, and a Plains. All right. Next pack. We got a Tuk Tuk Scraper. Smother. Tectonic Edge. 
Lodstone Golem, which is a four drop for a five three, and non artifact spells cost, but non artifact spells cost one more. Token and an Island. All right. Vapor Snare, Quest for the Goblin Lord, Razor Boomerang, and our rare, Terastodon, 9-9 nine, nine for an 8-drop. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, it may destroy up to three target non-creature permanents. For each permanent put into the graveyard this way, its controller gets a 3-3 three, three green elephant token. Interesting. That's cool. Good way to upgrade or downgrade somebody if you need to. All right, what do we got going on? First rare is Slavering Nulls. Slavering Nulls, Nulls. Everflowing Chalice. Core Firewalker. Oh, I saw the two blue on the rare and I was like, no way! <laughs> All right, well, thought Adela Acquisitor. Uh, island two two with island walk, and whenever it deals combat damage, search that search out player's library for an artifact, exile it. All right, plant token. Like I said, I'm playing with house money now. That's for sure. And like, if you watched my other videos before, you know that I definitely don't recommend going out and just paying this stupid money that people charge for these boxes just to try and find a foil jace. So I really do this for the channel, which is the only way I can really justify. It. Spending this money. Caustic Crawler. Hammer of Ruin. Canopy Cover. And our rare Basculus Collar. It, the equipped creature has Death Touch. That's pretty rad. A Mountain and an Ogre token. Let's see how badly I can mispronounce all these words and then see how many people uh, correct me in the comments. I notice there's definitely a douche element, which is surprising because it. Back when I used to play Magic more, you know, when I was a young lad, there certainly didn't seem to be as many douches. But anyway, Hammer of Ruin is our first uncommon. Summit Apes. Ruin Ghost. Ooh, a Mythic. Uh, Rexiel of the Risen Deep. This looks like a big, fat, big-butted creature. 5'8 with Island Walk. Swamp Walk. And Island Walk. <laughs> um... Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may cast target instant or sorcery spell from that player's graveyard without paying the, its mana cost. If that card will be put in the graveyard this turn, exile it instead. That's a pretty red card. I don't really like playing cards that take like a billion mana, even ramp decks. I'm just, my personality is hyper aggressive, so my decks tend to be that way too. That's why I always play burn, or used to. Tide Force Elemental. Loam Lion, Permafrost Trap, and our rare. Oh, back to back Mythics. Abyssal Persecutor. Four drop for 6 6 with Flying and Trample. You can't win the game, and your opponents can't lose the game. <laughs> so you're going to have to do some damage and then find a way to get rid of it. It's kind of like Desecration Demon, except without the you can't win the game part. Alrighty. Lightkeeper of Remaria. Beastial Menace. Ruin Ghost. And Quest for Ula's Temple. Ula's Temple. Tip card. We have a foil rolling terrain on the back. I definitely prefer the other way that I open up boxes where I just kind of zip through them. But I figured on the outside chance we find a, a Jason here, and I wasn't even thinking a foil, that you'd want to be along for the for the fun with me. Urge to feed, Deathforge Shaman, Slingbow Trap, and our rare, Anna won the Rune Sage. It's a four three for five. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player sacrifices the non vampire creature. So you can see that might be good if you had if you're playing a vampire deck, right? You didn't have any creatures to. Oh, it's a, each opponent, I think. So 
as long as you weren't playing a vampire deck. Another Tuck Tuck Scraper. This must be the most common uncommon I've ever seen. Voyager Drake. Scrib Nibblers. Archeon of Redemption. We saw this card before. This is actually a really rad rare, I think. Seems playable to me. I don't know. Maybe there are better combinations. But uh, what's that one card? That's, there's a card in Ravnica, I think, right now that does something similar. I'm trying to think what it is. Sphinx Revelation? No. Oh, Trostani, I'm thinking of, from Selesnia. Um, okay. Leatherback Baloth. Refraction Trap. Sling Blow. Sling Bow Trap. Stone Idol Trap is our rare. Stone Idol Trap costs one less to cast for each attacking creature. Put, s put six. Twelve. What? Oh, put a six twelve colorless construct artifact. Okay, I'm like, what? Oh, there's a foil blue card on the back, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, put six and a half tokens? That doesn't make any sense. I will do it, though. Beastial Menace is our first uncommon. Ever Flowing Chalice. Nemesis Trap, and our rare Celestial Colonnade. Got the dual land. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't know why I'm not separating the rares. I should be. Um, so I'm going to have to go back through this later and put all of them. I, I generally just put all my rares in, a, in books. By, I used to, I try to sort by color. Well, I definitely sort by color, but then I try to sort by mana cost, but sometimes I get behind. Smother. Hot of Free Blade. Rumbling Aftershocks. And our rare, Terra Eternal. All lands are indestructible. Um, I try to... Uh, uh, it seems like kind of like they put that foil Jason here and then it's kind of been poop. I mean, there's been two Mythics, which is cool. And I love... I kind of wish I would have got more dual lands, but I mean, what am I going to say? I'm not going to complain at this point. I mean, that's just stupid. Cunning Spark Mage, Horizon Drake, Dread Sanctuary, and our rare... Chain Reaction. Chain Reaction deals X damage to each creature or X is the number of creatures on the battlefield. That is cool. I like that. Especially in a uh, direct damage deck, I can see how <laughs> that would be kind of rad. All right, down to the final packs, boys and girls. Mostly girls, I'm sure, because of my sultry voice. Hammer of Ruin. Urge to Feed. Sajari Merfolk, Sajiri Merfolk, and our rare, it's a mythic, Eye of Yugen, colorless Eldrazi spells you cast, cost two less to cost, and seven, tap, search your library for a colorless creature card, reveal it, and put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. Dragon token, and a plans, a plans, a dragoon token, and a plans. Alrighty. Getting down. All right, our first is Voyager Drake. Slavering Nulls. Shoreline Salvager. And our rare, Stone Forge Mystic. I think this got banned in Standard or something, right? I think it, I think it did. When it was in Standard, anyway. All righty. Along with Jace, I think, too, right? Blood Husk Ritualist. Core Firewalker. Rumbling Aftershocks. Juari Shapeshifter. A two drop, zero, zero. You may have Juari Shapeshifter enter the battlefield as a copy of any ally creature on the battlefield. That's awesome. A, f a uh, Plains and a Foil Stoneforge Mystic. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take a foil version of the two most powerful cards in the set. I'm cool with that. Lone Lion. Spell Contortion. You can see I'm running out of steam. That's why I like to do the fast up. Perimeter Captain. 
Terastodon, 9, 9 for 8. So how are you guys liking the, uh, I haven't even really opened anything super vintage yet. I'm, I'm still trying to build my collection. I mean, I have like Fallen Empires and Ice Age and Revised, but I really want to fill up, you know, everything, I mean, older than 4th edition, if I can. Everflowing Chalice, Quest for Renewal, Tectonic Edge, and our rare is a Mythic Rare, Comet Storm, all right. Um, you choose target creature, um, or player, then choose another target creature or player for each time Comet Storm was kicked, it deals X damage to them. Sick. Pack your bags, we're going on a sick nick. And we have a foil, Bajuka Bridgen. Bajubada, Bajubada. Dun 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 dun. All right. Round is still going on, so I'm okay. Basswood Animist, Nemesis Trap, Ricochet Trap. Our rare is Stirring Wildwood. All right, Duelandy, Duelandia. Have I been putting those in here? I don't know. But there's something sticky on the mat. I don't like that. All right, boys and girls, the final four. This is it. Get your brackets ready. I really would appreciate if you guys crushed that thumbs up button down below the video. Down there. It helps spread the word and uh, allows us to grow and, and keep bringing these unboxings to you. Alright, Leatherback Balath. Quest for the Goblin Lord. That's really cool art. Oh. I saw two and two. I'm like, no way. Oh, <laughs> Burn, <laughs> permafrost trap, Goliath Sphinx, eight seven, and a swamp. I know I don't want to be greedy, but I was just like, man, two were two uh, island symbols in the in the rare spot. I can't. I wouldn't be human if I didn't hope. Refraction trap, blood husk ritualist, canopy cover, not a rare. Is uh, Jor Joraga Warcaller. A 1 1 multi kicker, not too shabby. A, pla a plant token, and a swamp. Ugh. All right. Could we have the most epic box ever? I hope so. It is pretty epic, though. Anytime you get a foil, Jace, that's epic. Epicness. Cunning Spark Mage. <laughs> Refraction trap. Now every box I open, I'm gonna to have to bring that Jace with me. Siraji, Mir Siriji, Mirfolk. And our rare is Anna One, the Rune Sage. Four three vampire. A snack token. And a Easland. Last two packs. And if you're new to the channel. This is only the beginning of all of the crazy vintage stuff we'll be opening. I mean, I have a box of Legends and Revised and Ice Age and Fallen Empires and all that stuff just sitting right off camera. And I'm going to open them up. And I'm going to keep the cards. Not sell them because I like to collect. How to Free Blade, Canopy Cover, Tectonic Edge, Bizarre Traders are rare. 1-1 one, one, target player gains control of target artifact creature land or land you control. Okay. I could see some cambos. There's a tap card and a furrest land. Last pa last pack, last baster pack of World Wake. All right, I'll stop now. Okay, this is it. Finish strong. Summit Apes. Horizon Drake. Scrib Nibblers, Strength of Terror Jew, a tip card, and a Mantin. All right. Well, I hope you like this video. Video. Back to back foil Jaces. Yay, MTG headquarters. Um, if you can, take a moment to crush that thumbs up button down below the video. And uh, if you have a set that you'd like to see me open, 
that's not alpha or beta, at least right now. If we had 10,000 subscribers, I'll, I'll find a way to get up something alpha, even if it's just a starter deck. Um, or something beta or something, something neat. Uh, if you have any suggestions for sets you'd like to see, post them up on down below. As always, we really appreciate you guys, uh, your support and your comments, and we'll talk to you real soon. Thanks.